All right, just started using an E17 and I'm gonna change some of the settings that annoyed me. So if you ever make any mistake or you wanna go back to what you had before, um, it's really easy to do in here. So first of all, let's say you hit your menu here, go to settings, all, and then go to settings and then profiles. So these profiles are basically what you had when you first installed it, right? And you can always reset it later on. So if I'm using a desktop here or the default or the bear or whatever, uh, just select one of them and hit reset and then you can use it. Or if you want to try some different one like laptops and tablets and tiling and all that, you can do that here. So great on that. Anyways, um, so that's how you will reset it if you need to reset it. But let's get on to some annoying shit that I uh, had to fix here. Uh, first thing, they have this thing which... I don't know why they do this, but um, if you just hover over, you know, your windows, it focus it. Normally, you have to click on the window and then it focus it, but that's what they have by uh, default on pretty much all the profiles that they have. Uh, to fix it, just go into your what's that settings and then settings panel here. And in here, let me make this bigger. But in here, you want to use uh, Windows and then Focus. And then you want to select this one. It says Click Windows to Focus. Apply. And, and this is what normally people have it. You know, you click on the Windows to Focus it. So that's how you do that one. Uh, the next thing is they have the menu. Like when you click on the menu or you when you left click on your desktop, you have this menu. I don't know why. I like it in open box. I don't like it here. Okay. So if you want to get rid of this, when you click on here, um, let me see what you can do here. Go to your input. So you can actually drag uh, the stuff up here. Right? They have other menus if you keep dragging it. Or you can use your mouse wheel if you want. So that's how you navigate that. Anyways, get to the point here. Go to hit input and then go to mouse binding. And in here, since this is a left mouse uh, button click, when you hit your menu, is the left mouse button. You want to click on left mouse, and then you want to hit delete and apply it. And now when you click on it, there's nothing else, okay? So that's how you do that. Uh, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, screensaver, I think we'll skip this one. Everyone knows that. And then compositing. Um, yeah, okay, compositing. So right now, we don't have any effects or anything. Uh, if you want to enable it, like maybe have some transparency. So you can see if I have my terminal here, there's no transparency. There's no fading effect here or whatever. If you want to enable it, you just click on here, go to settings, and then you go to modules. And what is that here? Let me make this bigger. Click on looks, and then you have compositing or composite here. And then hit load, and this will load the compositing. Click OK for the drop shadow thing. And that's pretty much it for enabling it. So you can see that if I uh, hit my terminal again here, I have transparency now, right? I can see like the programs in the back. I can do some fade effects. Now, if you want to go in and change some of it, you can go into, uh, let's go back to our uh, settings panel here. And let's go to looks. Now that we loaded our uh, compositing manager, it should be at the bottom here. There you go, right? Uh, and then usually what I like to do is, um, what was that, hitting on advanced here. And I would normally I would use the engine OpenGL. Right now, if I switch it right now, it's going to stop my screencast, so I'll do that later. But that's usually what I use, okay. And the other thing, which is kind of annoying, but uh, if this is a problem for you also, is like I have my Quake terminal here. If I make this full screen, there will be no transparency and it'll give me this little weird effect or whatever. And I really hate that. So to fix that, you go to apps here. And right now it says styles full screen. You want to edit and then you go to styles here. And then you want that to be none. Okay. And okay, that's it. And now it says styles none and then you hit apply. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, next thing, what is that? Yeah, for the panel settings, like the panel down here, you can actually do some stuff like change position. 
So if you want the orientation to be top or whatever, bottom, right? Uh, you can do that. Uh, normally what I like to do is I like the orientation to be bottom, what's that, left corner. And I want it to auto hide. But we're actually going to go into settings here do it faster here. All right, so in here, um, I go to positions. I already did that. Size, there you go, size. And then I want to shrink the content to the width. So right now you see that uh, it's a long taskbar. If I shrink it, apply, it's just only going to have uh, the size of the content that fills it, okay? Um, you can lower or make it bigger if you want. So if I lower it to 28 here, it's going to be a smaller panel. But for this one, we're going to make it back to 40. So I can, there you go. And as far as um, the auto hide, I like it to be quick instead of slow. So apply that. And now it's pretty quicker, right? And that's how you do that. Um, anything else? No, that's it for that. Uh Okay, this next one, it's uh, kind of annoying too. So right now, if I double click on the title bar, it's going to give me this roll effect, which is not my kind of thing. There's other ways to do this. You can do your mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, or you can middle click it and it does the same thing, like three fucking buttons to do the same shit. You know, it's kind of annoying. So uh, the way that you can change this, which I like to do is maximize when I double click on here. And to do that, we're going to go back to our, uh, what is that, our settings here. Right, and then we can go to advanced and uh, si signal bindings here. And basically in here, what you want to look for is at the bottom here, this side. There you go. This one, it says E event title bar. And uh, what you want to look for is... What was that the one uh, mouse down one double right this one right now it says uh, what was that shade up toggle um, what you want to change this to is maximize and then apply it um, usually the middle click one which I believe is this one uh, I would like it to minimize but they don't have a minimize button in here so maybe if you want to change it to let's say close or something then you can do that too right so double click on the title bar to maximize um, you know let me see you unmaximize it again if I did it right and something to close let me open something so we can close it so if I did middle click on this title bar I should close it there you go so double click to maximize like this Right, maximize, double click, and closing it, open another one. I want to close this, middle click on here, and then it closes. I wish they had minimize though. That, that's usually what I use on other systems, but they don't have a minimize option in here. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And something else, oh yeah, placement. Um, this one, let's go back here. Let's close out of that. Like whenever you open a window, it opens like in the edges or something like that. Let's open another one. You see, it's always like in the edge or something. If you want to open it um, under your mouse, because there's no center like I usually have it. Um, so we're going to put it um, under our mouse here. So what I mean by that is if you go to Windows and then uh, what was that? Windows display here and go to new window and then you say place mouse uh you know pointer at bottom of your mouse here what is that manually that's not the one place at mouse pointer there you go that's the one apply and basically whenever you open a uh, window it'll be under your mouse which is usually what i like say for example i go here open what do we have here like a leaf pad, it'll be under your mouse instead of being all the way in the corner or whatever. So I like it like that. Um, next thing, what else is there? High file icons. Uh, 
Well, I don't have anything mounted right now, but if you want to hide like icons that's on your desktop, like uh, you know, your mounted drives or USB or whatever, uh, you can always go into your what is it? Your files here. Where the hell is it at? There you go. Files, and then File Manager, and go to Display. And basically, this is where you get rid of icons. And you can do some other stuff like uh, toolbar and sidebar, but that's all I use for now. And apply it, and then if you had icons, it'll go away. Oh yeah, and this is the last thing. Um, if you like using Alt Tab, like when you use Alt Tab, it I don't know what um, what they're doing here, but your mouse follows the fucking window, and it annoys the shit out of me. So let me give you another one here. So if I had like maybe three windows, right, and I do alt tab, look at this, the fucking mouse move, annoying as shit. So if you want to get rid of that, uh, all you gotta do is go back into, what was that, uh, windows, what the hell is this, and go to window switcher, this one, and basically you want to get rid of, um, what the hell is that, uh, wrap windows. I get that one right. Where the hell is that at? Oh, windows, windows, switching. And selecting. There you go, selecting. There you go. This one, uncheck that, uncheck that shit. Apply. And now when you do your Alt tab, you know, your mouse stays the same. So if I put my mouse at the bottom here, it stays the same like I usually like it instead of annoying me with that so that's how you do that oh yeah and another thing is probably the last one is that you know when you try to resize something it's so fucking small look at my, my mouse cursor here I have to go way at the bottom I have to be very fucking precise just to resize the window all right uh, this one should work on all the other Linux distros and everything too, but how you will resize it with your hotkey is you hold Alt, and on here is middle click. So you middle click, and then you can resize it. You don't have to go all the way to the fucking corner. You can just resize it anywhere you want. Uh, on other distributions or desktop environments, it might be Alt and right click. It's either Alt and middle click or Alt and right click. So depending on which distribution you're at, you can still use this. Okay, but you see you can resize it quicker than trying to you know go all the way to this little one pixel at the bottom here just to make it work anyways that's how uh, I do it just use the alt hotkey and your mouse uh, middle click or right click whatever depending on your distribution so that's it for the settings and hopefully I'll find some other annoyance uh, and we'll fix that too that's it for this one